guys what's up it's maritza welcome back to my channel so today's look is this exposed skeleton sfx look so if you want to see how i got it just keep watching and i hope you enjoy the video I'm going to be using liquid latex but before that I'm going to use Vaseline to cover my eyebrows to protect them from the liquid latex. So I'm just laying down the liquid latex in a circle around my face and laying down some tissue on top and then covering the, covering the tissue with another layer of latex. If you're going to be using latex, a lot of people have allergies to it, so you just want to test it like on the back of your hand before you use it to make sure you're not allergic. So I'm going to be doing two layers of liquid latex and tissue. And I'm going to be doing the same thing to my chest. Um, just two on each side of my shoulders Then I'm going to take some translucent powder and set on top of the liquid latex so it's not so sticky And then I'm going to be taking the inside part of the latex and peeling it I'm peeling it up so it looks like it's my skin being lifted And then I'm taking my foundation shade and covering the latex with that. Starting on the paint job, I am painting the inside of the latex all white. And then I'm taking black and tracing my eye sockets and coloring it in. And I'm doing two triangles on the nose for that school nose. And then I'm doing little triangles for the teeth on my upper lip and my bottom lip. And then I'm painting in my cheekbones and hollowing out that area between the cheeks and the jawline. And I do two lines on my forehead that we're going to come back to later. And then taking some white, I cover my eyebrows so they're not as visible. And then I'm taking some black eyeshadow and shadowing around the teeth. A little bit by the jawline and cheekbones as well. And then I'm going by the inner corner of the eye and putting some shadow in there as well. And then going back to those lines on the forehead, I am putting some shadowing underneath of them. And then for the chest, I am taking white paint and painting in where I want my bones to be. And then I'm going to be painting the rest of the areas black. And then I'm taking some black eyeshadow again and I'm putting some shadowing in the bones. And 
then taking this grease paint stack that you can find at Walmart or the Halloween store, I am using the purple and black shade and putting some bruising along the liquid latex. And then I'm taking some fake blood and going over that with a stippling sponge. And I'm also putting some blood in the inside of the latex as well. Alright, that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this look. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more Halloween tutorials and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!